What is big data? We hear a lot about it these days. How would you describe what big data is? It's a, it's a contentious term. There's certainly not a definite definition of it, but I have heard a few people point to certain things that make big data big. Right? <laughs> uh, I, and to me, what stands out, of course, the, the obvious one is that there's lots of it. Right? All of a sudden, we're generating more data than we ever have before, thanks to the fact that almost every interaction we have with each other and with our world is digitized. It takes place through a cell phone or a computer, and that all kicks off data to the point where I've heard the apocryphal stat that in the next couple of years, we will create more data in those two years than has been created in all the course of human history up to this point. That's kind of astounding. So that's, that's big. Right? That's a lot of data. But I think there's more to it than that because the real breakthroughs that I see happening are not because somebody necessarily had a huge volume of data. It's oftentimes that they were able to draw conclusions from a wide variety of data. To me, that big is expansive. It used to be when you think data, you think scientists, you think people in labs, right? Tech, techies, nerds use data. But data is now touching everyone's lives, whether it's you and me picking movies off Netflix because of data about what we like, or if it's groups like NGOs in Africa bringing clean water to people who now have data about uh, the government's practices or have information about well locations that were crowdsourced, right? There's just data that suddenly touches everyone's lives. So when people think about big data, they might think about Big Brother, they might have privacy concerns, they hear about hackathons and they wonder that their health data is getting hacked. Uh, talk a little bit about some of those concerns and, and the extent to which they might be overstated or, or the extent to which uh, data scientists are grappling with them. Sure. I, I think in any of these cases, no matter what project you're working on, there has to be sensitivity to what the data is. Because data never lives in a vacuum. It's never just numbers. It's someone's health. It's someone's weight. It's whether someone was stopped and, stopped and frisked. There's real humanity behind these numbers, and that's critically important. And I would say that to anyone working with data, and we always tell any of our data scientists that you have to always think very carefully about what this data means, how to treat it with respect. Now, that said, I think people tend to go a, get a little overexcited about the whole Big Brother thing. It's a, it's a valid concern. You want to imagine that your data is safe. But increasingly, we're seeing that through openness of data, that's actually helping protect people against the kinds of things they fear uh, from a Big Brother type situation. What's a common mistake people make when they start thinking about big data? I, I think one of the most common mistakes that I hear is that people start with the data. They say, I've got data. What do I do with it? And it, that's a very natural place to start, but it's actually backwards. The real thing to be thinking about are what are the questions that I want to answer? You know, that, that's really where data can be brought to bear, is when somebody knows there's a problem that they want to solve and finding out where the data can be used to answer that question. What's the one question you wished I asked but didn't? <laughs> the question I wish you'd asked was how the everyday person could get involved in this big data trend. Everyone hears about big data, but is it really just for like Amazon or Robert Wood Johnson Foundation? How does the everyday person care about this? And I actually think one of the most important things that we could do is encourage more statistical and data literacy. Everything is going to be run by data. Uh, all of our decisions, all the way we communicate with the public, the way the government decides things, all that's going to be rooted in data and communicated to the public through data. And that makes it incumbent on people to understand some basic statistics. The more important is that we all understand what's going on behind the hood, uh, at least a little bit, so that we can all be educated and uh, active participants in this new ecosystem.